hi everyone in this video we are going to discuss firewall types so a firewall is basically a system that has been designed to save our network from any unauthorized access so this unauthorized access means there are there may be some of the hackers which may be trying to access our network so for example in this case in this illustration on the left hand side we have shown that there is this is a trusted network and there is some untrusted network and there may be some of the users trying to hack or trying to get information which is available on our trusted network and the firewall we put firewall and that firewall can be a hardware or that can be a software but its job is to save our network from these unauthorized accesses so for example if, uh, if someone from this untrusted part uh, from this untrusted network wants to access the our network for example here if the packets are coming from this untrusted network and they are going to this trusted part of the network then firewall will actually use some rules or some logic and on the basis of that firewall the, this firewall will allow the traffic if the traffic is legitimate if the traffic is legal for instance and it will drop this packet I will drop this traffic it will not allow that traffic if that tra traffic or if this packet is somehow illegal or this is not legitimate or this this is a bad traffic now <clears throat> based on the decision so what kind of decision this firewall can use what kind of decision logic this firewall can use so on the basis of that we have various types of firewalls and the very first of the type of the firewall is the packet filtering firewall second is a stateful firewall and third one is application gateway firewall which is also known as proxy firewall we have other types of firewalls as well but in this video we are just discussing these three ones which are the main so the first type of firewall is the packet filtering firewall so as the name suggests in this kind of firewall maybe router and so the router can act as a firewall and that firewall is cons uh, is configured in a such a way that when the information comes maybe from some from some untrusted network so from maybe from this untrusted network to the trusted network then this firewall will check the header part of the packet in the header part it will have IP addresses maybe source IP ad address destination IP address as well as it can check the port numbers as well like we have ACL access control list which we configure on the routers so it makes decision on the basis of uh, uh, this IP address and the port number so for example here if you see the packet is coming from untrusted network and when it reaches at this firewall firewall look is will look in the header part of this packet in the header part uh, it will have an IP address and this uh, this firewall will have an information as some for example ACL access control list and on the basis of the entries in this ACL it will look whether the traffic is a legitimate traffic or traffic is coming from some legal user uh, so on the basis of this this firewall can actually allow this packet to go to the destination or this firewall may block this uh, this one it means the decision is basically made on the basis of uh, IP addresses and the port uh, and the port numbers now if we map this idea uh, that this that this uh, theory it means this firewall or the packet filtering based firewall they actually work at layer three and layer four because layer three we have the ip addresses and layer four means we have the port numbers so uh, the firewall is making decision on the basis of this layer three and layer four now the second uh, type of firewall is the state for fi state full firewall and these firewall actually monitor the state of connection or session so connection or session means for example or in any case if two nodes want to exchange information with each other for example this user and this user wants to exchange wants to exchange some information then 
they need to establish a session so a session is, is created in between two nodes and then they start sending this all information now in this case let me remove this so in this case what happens when 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 some of the user for example from this trusted part of the network some user sitting in the trusted part this user wants to send some information uh, it, it's requesting some web pages from some server for example if server is somewhere here it want it's uh, so the request will go to that server like this and this firewall will maintain this session details about that connection in a state table so it means there will be some state table and in that state table for example there will be an information that this information from this source IP address using that particular port number went to the server machine having this destination address and destination IP address and using this port number so such kind of information will be saved in, in this state table and when the server will respond so of course this this user has requested for something and now the server has to send some something back to this client or, or to this user then when the server will respond to this request and it will send something back to the client now this firewall will look into its state table and if you will see that if this traffic belongs to the requested connection then it may allow it or uh, this if this is not from this if this the traffic is not associated with the previous connection then this may discard it so what happens when the traffic comes back firewall checks the session details in the state table for all the returning traffic so in this way based on the session table based sorry based on the state table in that state table we have the session information the firewall can either reject the traffic or it may allow the traffic and the same case for instance so it can maybe it can allow or it can um, reject it so this is just to show this one but for example now some of the user from this untrusted network part wants to access some of the resources on this one then in that case actually even though if, if this uh, this connection has all the maybe same port numbers and same IP address but the connection is being established uh, or the connection is being initiated by someone from the untrusted network in that case this firewall will not allow it because this connection is basically not part of the connection which was initiated by by this user so in this case the firewall will only allow the traffic which uh, uh, are the traffic which is associated or which is connected for with the with the request made by the user so it means when the traffic will come back it will only allow that traffic but if someone else will try and in this state table there will not be any information of that connection so that will be discarded and now if we map this with respect to OSI model then this stateful firewalls actually work on layer 3 layer 4 so this network layer transport layer and layer 5 means the session layer because we discussed that in this stateful firewall there is a state table and which in, in that table we have the session information it means in addition to these two layers firewalls these stateful firewalls also work on this session layer which is basically the fifth layer in OSI model the final type of firewall is the application gateway firewall so they are also known as application firewall gateway firewall and they are also known as proxy firewall and in this firewall these are mostly the software based firewalls and these firewall actually and with respect to OSI model they work at third fourth fifth and seventh layer so what happens in this proxy firewall when a user for example from this legitimate user or from the trusted network uh, part of so if some user wants to request something then this request first goes to the firewall to the proxy firewall 
and for example this user wants to request something which is available on the server machine which is on that untrusted part so this request will come to the firewall and this firewall will make a request on behalf of this client or on behalf of this user to the server so proxy wall will send a request to the server on behalf of the user so this request goes like this now from the server point of view or from server perspective it will look like that can connection or the communication is going on between the server and the proxy uh, firewall so this is like this and then for this client this proxy proxy firewall will be uh, giving information to this particular client or user so this is how actually this works as a middleman between the client and actual destination and as we discussed that if we look at the osi model then this actually works as a third fourth fifth and seventh layer and seventh layer is the application layer in osi model now because of this seventh layer this proxy firewall not only can maintain the stateful inspection so stateful inspection may be the fourth layer the session information but they are going to do one more important uh, point or one more important job that they can also do the deep packet inspection it means these proxy firewall can do the deep packet inspection to monitor not only the header part but the payload part of the packet as well so we remember that in this in this uh, packet we have the header part where we have the IP addresses and the port numbers and some other information and then there is a payload which has the actual information and which has the data so it means in this data part if there are certain keywords so any keywords or any words any any words here and if you want to say that we want to block the traffic on the basis of some certain keyword here so keyword we maybe can maybe the name of some some country or any any keyword so if this is there then this firewall can check the payload part of the packet and discard the packet on the basis of that content which may be available in the payload part of the packet so this is this is something different in proxy firewall and the other types of firewall cannot do this deep packet inspection which is possible in, in proxy firewalls so this was some information about the firewall types this is uh, some very good uh, basics about the firewalls and i hope this was a bit helpful for you uh, thank you very much for your time uh, hopes to see you in some other video thank you